Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, you have already seen how to trigger a notification and then on click of the notification, how to navigate to a new activity. What you have seen is a pretty simple scenario. However, you can do much more than that. I mean, you can trigger a notification and then you can cancel the notification and on the fly, if there are any updates, you want to probably update the same notification. So we will have a look at doing those things in this particular video. Well, I have made it pretty simple for you guys. If you go to the GitHub repository of notification demo, there is a branch called as first commit refactored flags. You basically have to migrate to that particular branch and you will observe that the code is updated. So I will just tell you what is the updated code looks like. In the earlier case, we had written the registration of the notification and the triggering of the notification. Pretty much all the code was written in the activity. Well, that was okay to get started with, but we would need a much better way of doing this. So that is why what I have done is I have created separate class called as my app notification manager. And if you go to this particular class, it has got various methods like register the notification. There are various overloaded methods to trigger a notification and then you can update the notification with picture. So we will have a look at how these things are implemented. But once we have defined this particular class where we have placed all our code to deal with the notification management, triggering the notification becomes much more easier. All we have to do is if you go to the my application which extends application, I will be instantiating my app notification manager there. And then I have got some methods, trigger notification, update notification, cancel notification defined here in the application instance. Since it is defined in the application instance, you can call these methods from any activity or the fragment. So in this case, if you go to main activity, all I do is get application that will return me this class and I will typecast it into my application and then invoke trigger notification that will come here. and inside the trigger notification method i will get hold of my app notification manager and then trigger the notification which actually has the logic of triggering the notification so in this way triggering the notification becomes much more easier so from the activity all i have to do is just pass the appropriate arguments and that's it the actual logic of how to trigger the notification is separated from the activity which is a very simple way of achieving separation of concern activity shouldn't be worried about how to trigger the notification it should only trigger the notification how it needs to be triggered will be taken care by my app notification manager this is how i would do it there are even better ways of doing it but this gives you a very basic idea of how it could be improved so what i have right now here in main activity is three buttons cancel notification and update notification and of course on click of cancel button i am basically triggering my application cancel notification and if you come here there is a method called as cancel notification and i am invoking cancel notification on the my app notification manager and if you come here it contains a pretty simple logic what i am basically doing is i am getting hold of notification manager notification manager has been initialized already when the my app notification manager gets created and then I am invoking the cancel method from the notification manager and I am passing notification ID. Notification ID is an integer value using which each notification that is triggered will be uniquely identified. And if you go back to main activity, I am sending a value called as R integer notification ID, which is nothing but a value of one. So whatever notification that I am triggering, it has a notification ID of one and I want to cancel that particular notification. So let me run this particular application and show you how the actual behavior looks like if you observe here trigger notification there is nothing special here if you would have clicked here you would have gone to the notification details activity but right now we are interested in triggering the notification and then canceling it here and if i click here you can see that the notification that was here got cleared 
earlier what was happening is if you click on the notification then the notification icon was getting cleared because we had set the notification as auto cancel true but if this was not there and if you wanted to explicitly cancel the notification you may want to use this particular methodology why you would do this let's assume that probably you were showing a notification till some task was going on and once that task stopped you could basically clear the notification from the notification area to do that all you need to do is be aware of what is the notification id with which that particular notification was triggered and later point in time pass that notification id to the cancel method to clear the notification sometimes there is a, another scenario wherein you want to update an existing notification we will have a look at how the behavior would be and then come back to the code so let me trigger the notification first there is nothing here it is just a text based notification but i want to update it with something else so what i will do is i will click on update notification button and if you come here the notification got updated with a picture this is a very real world scenario basically you might not be having the image available at the time of triggering the notification but once the images are downloaded for that particular notification you want to update the notification from a text based notification to a image based notification well if you have a look at the code this is the update button and on click of that i am triggering update notification and if you click here i am basically invoking a update with picture method inside the my app notification manager let's go inside update with picture and if you just pay attention what is the parameter we are passing it is the target notification activity which is the details activity the title text channel id pretty much all the arguments that you would need to trigger a notification and then if you go inside the logic for updating the notification pretty much looks same there is no difference at all whatever the logic that you would have written using the pending intent setting the flags setting the pending intent activity everything remains same there is no difference only the difference is i am now removing whatever the big text style that i was using earlier that is not there i am applying something called as big picture style i am setting the picture the picture is being provided with this particular image which is already stored in the resource file and then i am also giving big content title which is also being passed as the argument you can see that i am also passing something called as pending intent flag if you go back to our main activity you can see that i am passing pending intent dot flag update current in the previous video we were basically passing zero but in case if you want to update an existing notification with a new value you will have to use something like pending intent dot flag update current this will ensure that the same notification will get updated and you can observe that we are basically passing this particular value as the last argument to the update notification so that is why when you run this particular application and you trigger the notification it shows the same old notification you can update the notification it will get updated with the picture and then if you navigate it will navigate to the same old details activity so we have covered few more options that you could do with notification we will continue to explore notification in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye